I'm serious. I'll never be able to eat another coconut the same way after this episode because poor little Coco. Ah, she got sliced in half by a dragon. And that hurt. That hurt a lot. Didn't it? I was expecting her to die. Cause honestly, when I came to the series, I was expecting people to die. A lot of people. Cause there's a lot of people. Usually, when there's a lot of people, some people die, especially when they're fighting dragons. And I, I just came out of nowhere for me. I came out of nowhere. I thought she was gonna die later on. Not, not, not when she just got introduced. Not Coco, Coco. Cross Age, man. Something about the series is keeping me in here. Something is still hooking me. Cause when you look at this, I. At first, I thought it was going to be pure fan service. That's it. And it is. It's a lot of fan service, but it's keeping the dark themes, the dark vibes in this series. That's what's keeping me interested in this. Because, okay, look, it's not the fucking hentai porn that, well, that I was witnessing in this episode for, like, two, like five minutes. Because that's what happened, man. She was about to get raped. She was about to get raped. And it's not that. It's not that. I'm not a pervert. But... I've always liked the themes. I always liked the theme of of this high class, wealthy, rich person. And then out of nowhere, instantly is put into this situation that's the complete opposite of what she was. For instance, this one, you know, she's poor now. She's very poor. She was a princess. And now she has to cope and live and adapt to the situation she was put in. So I am really interested in seeing how her character like progresses through this because honestly man it's actually doing some pretty good progression I thought it was I, like I said I thought it was just gonna be pure fan service that's it that was the purpose of this anime but no it's actually it's actually pretty good it really is two things really stuck out for this episode my Coco and that scene that that, that rape scene <laughs> okay look, 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 look I was looking at this episode you know I was just watching it I was enjoying it you know here the fan service here and there the character development you know some comedy and, you know, as soon as those girls were introduced, especially Yola. Yola. Yeah, she's a boss. She's a pimp. She's a fucking pimp, man. She is. She's a fucking pimp. Zola is banging Hilda. You know, the girl with the red hair. And as soon as I saw Zola, man, we all knew this girl was into girls. That's it. And, like, she was a thirsty-ass motherfucker. That's it. She's banging her. And we see that shit. She's banging her. Hilda's like, oh, stop. I'm tired. And then she goes... That's not enough to satisfy my needs. I need more. She walks off just to go bang, slash, rape, Ange, Jaleesa. Yeah. And then, when that was happening, the whole thing, you know, she was fondling. She was licking. And I was just sitting there thinking, what the fuck am I watching? No way, I can't be watching this. And I was fucking lost in reality, really. I, I didn't know what the fuck I was watching. It's not until, thank God, Angelina slapped the shit out of Zola. And her eye fell out, which finally woke me up. And I was back in reality. Seriously. I was like, oh shit. Oh. But the thing is, I'm liking that they are actually implying rape in this anime, like, so casually. Because even last, um, a week, there was a scene of, of getting expected, which was very wrong, you know. They made it look very fucking wrong. So they're not afraid to go that far. They're actually keeping these dark things very, very consistent, man. That's, that's good. And then with Coco dying, that, I don't know, man, I... That affected me more than it should have. I don't know. Something about it that, like, when she died, I still, okay, the, re the moment I knew she was about to die was when the, the, when the, the frame was frozen. And you could just see her smiling because she was actually excited to go to this magic place that um, Angie described to her. And as soon as that thing happened, I was like, oh, shit, don't die, don't die, don't die. And they kept it still for, like, five seconds, just me anticipating it. I was like, no, don't die, don't die. And I don't know, push. She's cut in half. Angelina's face is fucking horrified. Ah, pretty gruesome stuff. The thing I liked about Coco was she symbolized what the little kids were in this anime. Because we see at the very beginning, man, when we see little preschoolers, no more than five, six years old, are already getting trained to kill dragons. That's some fucked up shit. That's real fucked up shit. And... The thing that I like about Coco is she symbolized those kids because I'm pretty sure she was put in that institution into that prison when she was way younger. And the way she talked, man, it sounded like she was never even able to experience freedom. She was never outside. She was never outside because the way she, um, the way that she reacted when Angelina was describing all this to her 
was really saddening. It was very saddening seeing her like, oh, I never heard about that. Oh, I would love to see that. All that stuff. And that just, I don't know, I, hit, I don't know, man. That, 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 oh, damn. Go, go. Oh. But yeah, man, I've really been enjoying the series so far. To a position, I'm surprised. I'm actually very surprised about the series. Good character development for uh, Angelisa. We see that she's actually good. You know, she's not the best, but she's above average in all her classes. You know, she's good at um, operating that uh, flying vehicle, whatever that thing's called. She's good at combat and all that other stuff. She's actually very, su you know, very surprising. She's actually made a lot of enemies. That's what's funny, too, because those enemies are probably going to end up asking her for help. Because you, know, you can see that she's actually pretty good. She's actually very above adequate when it comes to these, you know, classes, these abilities that she never actually had any experience into developing. And that pisses off everybody. It really does. I mean, she makes enemies right off the bat. We get Hilda. Um, there's a lot of girls. There's a fucking lot of girls. And there's a lot of people. There's a lot of names. So you know, don't expect me to remember everything. There's Hilda. Uh, there's Selena. Coco. I don't even know. Why did I bother learning Coco's name? Uh, and then there's the infamous Zola. Zola, man. She's... She's gonna be an awesome character. I'm just telling you guys right now, man. She's gonna be fucking awesome. Yeah, man, right now, we're in a situation where, um, Angelina tried escaping, and, you know, and that's an effect that caused Coco to die. And she's gonna get severely punished for this, because she tried escaping, she got somebody else killed, even though, you know, we see that they don't really care about if people get killed, they just replace them pretty quickly, but still, that... She's gonna get punished. Angelina's gonna get fucking punished. Uh, yeah, and it's really keeping me, it's really keeping me, it's keeping me hooked. What do you guys think, man? Have any thoughts? Leave your comments down below. And yeah, guys, take care, be safe, have an awesome day. Always appreciate it. Peace.